for one of the most anticipated movies of the year. Please welcome the gentleman of A Star is Born, Bradley Cooper and Sam Elliott. <laughs> People. I know, wow, it's this a little bit cool. different. Isn't it yeah, great? This is awesome. The reaction from people. I gotta tell you, I saw this. I am going to remember this movie. I'm going to remember the experience of sitting there. And it took so long for you to put this on film. Mm. And does it mean more that it took a little more time to, to make it happen? I think so, yeah. I think uh, whenever you put your whole heart in something and you get incredible people like mm. him, to uh, give all of himself and uh, you take the time to do it. It feels uh, very gratifying. It, it should be. Sam, you the man. You the man, you Sam. The you man. Been blessed. <laughs> you're the man. You have blessed us. So how, how was the experience different this time around? I think uh, I'm going to lay it all at Bradley's okay. feet. You know, mm -hmm. it just, it was a special journey that, you know, everybody was together on and Bradley set a tone that allowed all of us to trust him. Mm. There's a moment in the film where he talks to Gaga about trusting him. And he talked to us about trusting him. And I think when you can trust the director and trust your fellow actors, that odds are you're going to get to the truth. and. I think that's why this film's so special. Yeah, it really comes through on the screen. It does. It sucks. That's a good word for that. Um, you know, of course, we know Stephanie Lady, Lady Gaga. We know about her singing. How incredible is she in the movie? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Wait. And then you kept doing the nose, Chris, the nose. Um, but also, my friend, you're singing. You're singing. Um, we have a little bit. Black eyes. We're going to have a little oh. bit of, let's, you want to hear Bradley Cooper sing? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen. in front of these huge crowds. Yeah, that was crazy. That was stagecoach. Jamie Johnson was kind enough to let us go on, and Willie Nelson uh, let us go on before him. And that was, yeah, we just hopped on the stage, and I just said, hi, everybody. Uh, we're going to shoot a movie. It's all about you. Thank you. And then, uh, and then were we... Were you nervous at all? I mean, yeah, I was terrified. <laughs> Absolutely. We were all terrified, the whole crew. I mean, no one had really ever done that before. Uh, yeah. But we were we were working as a great group, and we knew what we wanted. And uh, you know, Promise of the Real is Jackson's band, Lucas yeah, Nelson's yeah. band, who's incredible. And uh, we had a blast. But it, again, it's what you said. It's just I think because of all the preparation, all the time I had, you know, mm. that that really allowed for us to really let it go once we were there. But the preparation. But I mean, during this time, I mean, you are directing, you're starring, uh, uh, co-writing the screenplay, and and you had a baby. In the same time, congratulations with that. juggling all that um, I mean when you say it like that it sounds overwhelming mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, w w when you're in it yeah and uh, quite honestly when you're when you're around people like him uh, who are they're giving it all themselves every day I mean I, I don't know it, it was a joy I mean yeah. th those those 42 days of shooting were just 42 I, I want everybody to see a bit of it because I'm telling you we know about your relationship with Lady Gaga's character but this relationship on screen uh, you are a, a rock star and you have problems with your hearing. He plays your older brother who is also your manager and doing the best to care for you. Mm. Let's take a little bit of a look. I told you I can't wear those things. When I wear them, it's just in my head and I need to be here with everybody else. How the, the doctor fuck am I gonna... said it's the only way to manage this thing, Jack. You're not going to get back what you lost. It's the only way we can manage what you still got. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think we're managing pretty good. What do you want me to do? You know, the door is wide open if you, you want to go. Don't start that. Show a little pride in what you're doing, buddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did 
Oh, you also <laughs> noticed the matching voices going on there. <laughs> and, um, so the, the, he, he got it down pat a little bit. Sound, sound a little bit like <laughs> you there, Sam. <laughs> I'd never met Bradley before this <laughs> encounter on this film. And I went to meet him at his home one time and <laughs> in the evening. It took us a while to get together, but we finally got together. And one of the first things he did, he played a, a tape for me of him working with a voice coach that he'd been doing for a number of months, I believe. He said, this is going to sound a little weird. And it did sound a little weird because it sounded <laughs> old. It sounded very much it's like, like me. And, but I knew that, I guess I knew then that he wanted me to do this project because he'd gone to my voice. And uh, any time that you know that somebody really wants you to come along right. on the journey, it just, it, it, that's what makes it special. That's uh -huh. what makes it a love relationship in the end. You, you, you would know. have thought that you all knew each other for years, seeing you both on, on, on screen together. And also the, the, the entire casting, I mean, Dave Chappelle, I mean, he showed up on screen. I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we had Anthony here yesterday. Uh, he's the Ramos. You know, I think it's a testament to, I think, uh, certainly what this movie's trying to say was that if, you know, if we just really see each other and are, are with each other, that mm -hmm. we can accomplish our dreams. And, uh, you know, yes, we didn't know each other, but we're both completely open on in that day on the film. And when that happens, that human connection, yeah. you just, you can't fake it. It's real. And then mm -hmm. luckily we were able to capture that on film. But it, it, to me, it's, it makes me happy for the fact that, you know, we're stronger together than by ourselves. Yeah. It was so soulful. It was just uh, all the performances, just, just so soulful. Let me ask you. Because this, this was a completely fresh take mm. on a classic story. Um, does that put any additional challenges to it? You know, I, I actually, I wanted to tell a love story and I wanted to tell a story about people finding their voice mm -hmm. in life and how hard it is, especially today, when people are telling you who you are and what you should be saying and what your worth is. Um, and, this, and so it was very personal in that way and I think it meant that to all of us. So, I, I never thought about it in terms of what came before. Mm. Uh, it, it felt it felt like it, very clear to me in terms of the story I wanted to tell. In fact, it was just joyous to be able to pay homage to the other movies in little cinematic moments. And were you all cognizant of, of you know of being a fresh take? Is that any difference when you're approaching this, Sam? It wasn't any different for me. I just had a piece of paper with some words on it and had a guy direct. <laughs> <laughs> and you nailed you know, it. <laughs> Had this guy there orchestrating the whole thing, so. I cannot believe it was your debut as a, as a director. I mean that sincerely, Brad. Uh, you. You, you, you let the film breathe, mm. and you let us as, in the audience breathe as well. Was that your your intent? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, I love movies. Movies yeah. have provided, uh, I'm sure like many of you, a lot of uh, healing and inspiration over the years. So uh, I think just being a student of it and having people like David O. Russell and Clint East would be so open about their process. And it's all rhythm, too. You know, in a love story, it, it should breathe because you have to see them fall in love. Mm -hmm. You can't sort of just wipe past that very fast. Well, it, you, I, you believe it. You Good. believe it on the screen. You really do. And Sam, I mean... Uh, the entire cast, it, it, as I said to begin with, it is a movie you watch and you remember and you talk about. And the people that I was watching it with, we walk out into the lobby and we cannot stop talking about it. So bless you, thank you. We need a film like this. Yeah. Appreciate that. Wait till y'all see it. Thank you both. Thank you. Uh, we really appreciate you being here. Star is Born hits theaters on Friday.